is going to be about getting this custom built Tonka 4x4 truck uh, up and going. We're going to fix a couple things. Hasn't been running about four or five years. Let's do a quick walk around and then we'll get this on the trailer, get her home and checked out. Just a quick look at the inside. So this has air suspension on it and apparently it goes up another six inches and well this doesn't look good it looks like it's it's hitting the transmission so yeah look at cv boot torn here on the steep angle so i think that's going to be our problem uh, here's a look at the back one it's not a sport if you can't get killed check out the sound system on this thing too it's got a pile 12 inch sub on it looks like the rear bumper is an air compressor tank on it too yeah, check this out. It's got the regulator, probably for the air suspension. She's back home safe, so I'll probably tear into this thing tomorrow. I was thinking when I was driving though, you know why this is hitting? Probably because the, the air suspension is empty right now. Otherwise, once you lift this up, I think the clearance is going to be just fine there. Nice. Yeah, so it's a Mitsubishi. Hydraulic pump. Get the battery. It's a little inline three banger. <laughs> Sounds okay, I'm not sure. Sounds like it could have a dead cylinder too. That carb's gonna have to come off. Yeah, let's see if she fires up though. Right now it's choked. Ooh. I was jamming the choke up. Do we have spark? Yes. Oh yeah, baby. Tell me this thing just runs after sitting that long. It sound like it's running all the cylinders to me, but I'm gonna say we got one dead cylinder, it sounds like to me. Oh, yeah, the middle one. And there it is kicking in. There she is. That's banging all three there. Yeah, buddy. to clean out the carburetor a little bit get the gel out while it's running you cap this and you just let it pull a big vacuum and if there's any gel in there it'll pull out the jets Tell you, this guy did some good work on this thing. Unbelievable. Air compressor works still. So that's gonna pump up the tank in the rear bumper. 
and then we've got a regulator that we can send that pressure to the rear springs. Keep doing getting to the driver's side. It's actually the passenger side. Oh my gosh, even the windshield washers work. Alrighty. Damn it. I will just keep doing that, I tell you. Uh that sounds horrible. I see that commercial. Look, the hell has he got now? Yeah. Dude, that is really cool. Yeah, some guy custom built this thing. I just do not like looks of this front drive shaft. It doesn't even make contact on the companion flange. And this thing just looks whooped. With this up on jack stands, we can take a look at the suspension and then spin the wheels with it running and see what she looks like. Uh, but you can see more loose joints that just need to be snugged down. Arms. And then uh, check out the steering box. A lot of flex in that. You can see the Pitman arms just welded onto it. Yeah, your drive shaft definitely bent. This whole gearbox is actually wobbling back and forth. Looks like it could use some uh, lower supports. Rear tire, same thing, just got some flat spots. up that side and this wheel doesn't seem to be spinning that fast uh, that's not good yeah so whatever's inside that gearbox is just completely done for because we got the hubs locked and you can see well yeah the companion plan stopped spinning while the input shaft is still spinning Got a flathead bit in there for a key. <laughs> well, that wasn't slipping, otherwise it would have been extremely chewed up. <laughs> totally custom built. Very neat. This is all in nice shape, so it must be shear pin on the other side then. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the key is definitely sheared. And this has like set screws on it too. There we go. Oh yeah. This is the four-wheel drive right here. You pull this. And the rear shaft will start going. I'll just tie this front shaft up out of the way for now. Let's address this gearbox real quick. A lot of play. You can see the box is rocking up here too. Let's start by drilling that out and put another bolt in.
handle bumps that well. The super swampers are cool, but uh, yeah, these, these hit the ladders when you're turning fairly sharp at all. Definitely needs four wheel and man that suspension is just <laughs> ridiculous. In fact actually look the shock's broken on the front. It's not doing anything so it needs the wrong size. Probably too long. Yes. I just break the cap off each one and then grind them down a touch. I can reuse these. They sit flush enough now because the rim has a slight dish to it. I gotta say, you wouldn't really wanna go over like 15 or 20 miles an hour because you see the size of the rocks that these treads pick up. Well, without fender flares, that goes, that'll, yeah, I could hurt someone or break their windshield. I just went to loosen this nut and then I'm looking at it. You see what I see? Yeah, that bolt ain't coming out of there. It's got this gusset in the way. <laughs> So I've had these tires pumped up to 45 PSI to try to get rid of the flat spots, but you can see it's still got a decent flat spot. So I'm gonna drop them back down to maybe like 10 or less. A great tool for easily dropping all the pressures is these quick clips. You just clip it on each wheel and have it run all the way around. And then on the end, have a pressure gauge. And you see they're up at 40 PSI. And just open this valve and I can let that sit ah, for probably a good five minutes or so before these are all drained out where they need to be. All right, it's been five minutes, maybe more. I'll close it. Yep, we're right at uh, 10 PSI, just over. Now, what is this contraption that he's made on here? I can see it's got a hydraulic pump in here too. So, some kind of boom for towing people. Oof. Let's power to it and see what it does. And the winch part works. It's hooked up the pump too. No action yet. Woo, there it goes. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. I gotta let the winch out. Holy smokes, look at this thing. This is unbelievable. <laughs> I'm in love. Clean out the rest of this trash. There's Big John Law's glasses. Live shotgun shell. Look at these little guys. Never see ones like that. 22RL shot shell test control. I gotta slap this gearbox back on. Should have a key kicking around for this thing. That 
That ought to work. I gotta say, it's really impressive this guy fabricated this thing out of just junk metal. With the gear case hanging on the top brackets, we can see the alignment on the companion flange is off pretty hardcore. It has to come out, oh, out of about eighth of an inch to make that gap even. And so when I took it apart, somebody had this spacer made for it. Tonka truck it says and the holes were like totally whacked out and crazy but I mean it was on there but this center hole was not even big enough for the center little piece on on the gear case side you know that ring in the center so it was really cattywampus we'll call it uh, however this you know it's keyed but it's got uh, these allens you can loosen and then bring this out the other side had the drill bit in here for a key which works but the problem is this is not a soft metal so if this has to slip it can't shear like uh, keys they're made out of a softer metal that can shear off if need be all right we got the four wheel hooked back up let's go try it out uh, if you haven't noticed by now this is not the most robust machine out there and i it's not mine so i don't really want to break it because i know that i'll be doing all the work to it if i do but there's just uh you know Big John Law put this thing together in a hurry, and it's really, it's a cool, cool machine, but it's, the geometry of everything uh, is just not ideal. It's good for like cruising around 20 miles an hour tops and turning heads. Hell yeah, talk to truck. <laughs> uh oh, there's the police. Wow, they just rolled right by me. That's awesome. He didn't even look. All right, this is the four wheel drive test. Same hill, got the tire pressure lowered down to eight. I tell you, she's a beast. Definitely needs, uh, you know, the suspension modifications, but that four wheel kicks. What's that? You said you need a tow? I got you, buddy. Here we go. Woo, buddy. Look at that. Oh, if that ain't awesome, I don't know what is. Taking the back way everywhere we go. I figure we'll go to the bar with this thing. What the heck? What else would you do? <laughs> What's up, Pat? Oh, <laughs> I'm parking it right in front of your bar, man. Down here at the junk here, we're gonna try to find some uh, different front shocks for this truck. This is uh, pick apart. And it's going through a bunch. Most shocks are too long, like on that Trailblazer. But then I ran into this clean HHR, newer. And I think these rear shocks will do. The old shocks had much skinnier eyelets. 
So unless I redo the brackets, or I could just... Of course, I could have just bought new ones, but instead of getting junkyard shocked, but then that wouldn't follow the whole genuine redneck parts theme now, would it? Let's see if this fits now. Oh, you know what? This ain't gonna work, is it? <laughs> yeah, that bushing's too tall. How about that instead? Put a spacer in here and put the shock on the outside. I gotta put something in between the rad hose too, but uh, that actually corrects the shock alignment issue because the, the shock was cocked like that before and that's probably why it broke. And then, you know, the bottom, since I can't get that bolt out without cutting this gusset out of the way, I'll just, uh, I'll just weld this right onto the bottom too. If you've watched the video this far, you, you've realized this thing is kind of just slapped together and it's definitely going to break without some major reinforcements and modifications. And this isn't my truck, so I don't want to destroy it. I want to get back to him. And then there's probably going to be a part two future video where we do some crazy stuff with this, but I'd rather it not be in my possession only. You know, we'll do it with some other people. But anyway, I'm thinking to myself, what could I do with this before I return it? Car show. I'm going to bring this to a car show tonight, and I think it's going to be so much darn fun because it's such a cool truck. Uh, last thing I'm going to do before loading it up is I'm going to try to go over to Tractor Supply and get one of these crossbars. Uh, since this one has just so much play and it's making a ton of noise. If I shake this back and forth, it's, I mean, there's a lot of other things making noise too, but, uh, so we'll do that and then we'll, we'll get it loaded up and see how many, uh, who knows, maybe we'll win a trophy tonight. I might even have one of these. Yeah, it's just one of these three-point arms. If I did, it would be over here. Oh yeah, I thought so. All right, not quite as heavy duty. Yeah, you know what, instead of wasting a good Japanese-made Kubota part, because that's factory OE, I believe, uh, I'm gonna take a ride over to Tractor Supply and see if we can just get one of these ends. I don't see any end links for sale, so we'll just grab a whole new Cat 1 top link, 23 bucks. Oh yeah, much nicer. Did a quick alignment check on it. We're a scotch toed in on this side and good three eighths of an inch towed out over here. So I'm gonna tow this in and uh, that should help out with the ride a little bit too. Good go. Downstater over here, uh, Downstater uh, ADV. Getting in trouble. Yep, car payments suck. Yeah. Yeah. I don't trouble. need a diesel, it's for sure. I see. Look, she's gonna tell you knock knock joke. Knock knock. Who's there? Chicken. Chicken who? Number 52, Paul, 68, the barrel is in. That's all it's got. <laughs> oh, I mean, that was a little overkill, but you know, whatever. It's probably got like an ATV winch in there or something. Good it didn't enough. break. That's the important part. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Is that Big John Law in there? I am Big John Law. <laughs> What's it smell like in there, Myla? Pee pee. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can lift you. Yeah! All right. All right, don't bring them <laughs> Nice, so it's got, it's got some balls. Here's a boy who doesn't know his limitations. Got stuck, waiting on the old Tonka truck to pull his butt out, as usual. And here it comes. Here's the old winch coming up. Getting ready to rig it up and pull his butt out of trouble. You, she makes a good little fishing rig. Drive her down on the lake. Just need like a, a hitch mounted couch on the back. Back it right up.